Hi guys and welcome to my new video. So today I wanted to talk about finding a place in Ljubljana. So if you're an Erasmus student or you're coming here to study or something else, I just wanted to tell you something that you maybe should know before coming here. So there's like there are a lot of topics but I choose like I chose three that I'm going to tell you about and the thing is there's this one group on Facebook and it's called Stanovance Stanovance Kiesi. So I'll just write it down below because you probably want to understand it because it's in Slovenian. So this group is um, like ordinary people posting if they're renting a room or something or an apartment and it's basically just photos or if they're looking for something. So you just text them or message them and um, and then you make an appointment and you go there and see the room and if you like it, that's it. Uh, you have to uh, give one rent and two more just, you know, to... If you, if you do something like in the apartment, if you ruin something, they can take that from you at, at the end. So that's basically like wherever you go, you have to pay like that. So this one is, I think, the best one. The only thing is that a lot of people actually um, are looking for the place, like looking for a place to stay. So there's a lot of people uh, after they post um, those photos, they text them and the only thing is you have to be really quick. Like if you're looking for something, be sure like that you're checking this group all the time. And um, I think that's the only bad thing about this one. Uh, so another thing is these uh, two websites and this one is Bolha and the other one is Nepremichnina so I'll link them down below. Uh, the thing about those is that usually here you can find a place but it's like the whole apartment. I mean you can find the rooms also but it's usually like the apartment, the whole place. So the problem is here that you have to pay an agent and that's too much. I mean if if you see like this, you're not go going to buy that apartment or you're just going to live there for a year or I don't know or less. So basically you have to pay like, I don't know, let's say thousand and then three more rents like or two more, I don't know, it depends. And then you have to pay usually like 700 euros just for the agent and that's like money thrown in the wind and I think that's too much but um, if you cannot find anything else or if there's more of you looking to be together in a, in the apartment that that's also an option I mean I, but wouldn't be the first one for me so I had this experience um, I called this website I, I, mean, yeah. I called the agent and then we had like an appointment we were looking um, for the place for three of us, we were friends, so we wanted to live there. Uh, we wanted to have um, like everyone to have their own room, and we didn't want to live in the dorm or I don't know. So we decided to go and find a place. So we called this agent, and then um, my friends went to see it, and everything was nice. So we weren't hundred percent sure that we were going to take it, but. It was, let's say, 90% and after that, so we were like, we made an appointment after one week that we we're going to come there and say like the final yes to this apartment and then during this week we weren't looking for the other apartments because we were sure that we are going there. So we went there and this agent lady hadn't show showed up, so it was like, we were calling her, she wasn't answering, and then like, I don't know, after, I don't know, 30 minutes, she, she answers finally, and she said, um, oh, I'm sorry, I can't come today, but also I forgot to tell you that the owner um, doesn't want anyone, like students or, I don't know, working people inside the apartment, they just want family, so we're sorry to tell you, but, you know, uh, we can't rent this for you. So it was a really bad way to tell it. I mean, she she could call before because we were in front of the building. But anyway, uh, I think that's um, kind of 
I don't know, discrimination, if someone tells you you're not a family, you don't have kids, or I don't know, you're not a couple, you're not girls, all girls are all guys, or I don't know, that's, that's a bad way, but it happens, so, I don't know, I'm like making sure that you know that. So, also, there is another thing that um, happens here, I mean, not just here, it happens probably everywhere, and um, it's... Um, scam because usually they post uh, like pictures of a beautiful apartment looking really expensive having like the best location and everything and then the price is like I don't know 400 which is I don't know that's really low price I mean usually those apartments are like thousand euros or more so 400 for I don't know three people which is like nothing and then you call them or text them, message them, whatever, and they, they, they say like, oh my god, like, they probably, I'm not, I'm sure that they don't say oh my god, but okay, they say like, um, the owner lives in, in Spain or something, so there's this agency and there's a name, I maybe, if I find it, I'll post it, so, okay, so you have to pay like, before you come to see an apartment or whatever, before you even... I don't know if you decide to come here. So anyway, you have to pay like 400 and then you pay it and they they just disappear, you know, like the whole thing, apartment because it doesn't exist. So that happens all the time and I know that's bad because I mean, you're like in a country, I don't know, from the other side of the world, so you, you cannot text someone, ask someone if this is the real thing and I don't know, you're in a hurry, you, you need to find a place, and then you just find this and it looks really perfect, but it's too good to be true, and it's always like that. So, um, I just wanted to tell you that, and um, I hope I help you. I know, um, I don't know, if you have any questions, you can maybe write it down, and um, uh, good luck in finding your apartment. So, see you in the next video. Bye.